Hello everyone and welcome back to Motors and Me. Today I am going to do a fun little experiment. We are going to see what's the difference when you accelerate easy with traction control on and avoid any wheel spin hard with traction control on and somewhat hard with traction control off. And all that of course on a snowy road. Man, it's beautiful, isn't it? Then we'll try to stop from 50 kilometers an hour with the brakes pushed hard so that the ABS kicks in. Then we'll try to stop from 50 kilometers an hour a little bit softer so that it's right before the ABS kicks in. Is it scientific? Absolutely not. It's just out of fun. And so how is this going to happen? We will start from this cone right here and then go down this road. Uh, it's a nice stretch, a slight downhill, but that's okay. And for measurement, we're gonna use an app on my phone. It's called Drag Racer. Is it accurate? Probably not, but it's able to deliver some sort of data, so let's give it a shot. Are there more accurate measuring tools? Yes, definitely, but since I don't have those, and this is just for fun, so whatever. The car that I'm going to use is going to be my trusty Mark IV Mondeo. It has a 1.8 liter diesel engine that's able to deliver 125 horsepower. For tires I'm going to use Dunlop winter tires. They are not new, this is actually the third year I'm using them and probably the last one because thread is getting a bit worn. Anyways, let's go! All right, app is ready. It's sort of jumping one, two, three, five, six kilometers an hour, even though I'm still sitting still. Anyways, I think get some sort of results at least. All right, soft acceleration, traction control off. Try to avoid any wheel spin. Let's go. Three, two, one, go. So that's 12.9 seconds. Let's go back. All right, that's one. Now the second run. Hard acceleration with traction control on from zero to 50. Going forward. Three, two, one, let's go. <laughs> there we go. Yeesh, it's slippery. So that was eleven point three. All right, third test. Now this is going to be traction control off with a semi-hard start. Why semi? Because if I floor it, it's just gonna redline the car and I don't wanna drive the engine too hard. So we'll see how it goes. All right, traction control is off. Let's see how it goes. Three, two, one. Of course, redlining it. Oh my god, fighting for traction. And we're 50. Woo! It's <laughs> a bit scary. <laughs> 
actually not that bad. 11.8. Hmm. Okay, so that concludes that test. Oh man, the last round was a bit scary. Next up is going to be braking. And for that, I'm going to put a cone somewhere over there where we're going to start braking. And then where we stop, we're going to place another cone. So on the second run, we can see the difference then. Okay, cone is over here. The car is over there. Now I'm not going to start there. I'm going to start way behind that curve over there. So yeah, <laughs> right here, you can see the place where I shifted to third. Dug a bit into the snow and uh, over there i don't think you can see that but there are some tracks where i shifted to second okay first braking test from 50 to zero braking hard with abs let's go that is 50 Not bad. Seriously, not bad. All right, not that bad, actually. This is what, 15 or so meters? The cone is right over there. Oh, better than I thought. Anyways, off to the next test. Okay, second braking test. So this time I'm gonna apply the brakes just before the ABS kicks in. Let's see how far we get. Okay, here we go. And now breaking. Oh no, there's a code. <laughs> well, yeah, um, the cone is over there. This is like, I don't know, seven, eight meters. Oh boy, let's do this again. This time, I'm gonna apply the brakes a little bit more. Hopefully, ABS won't kick in. Let's go. Oh my god, it's slippery now. <laughs> it's pretty much ice. And braking. Oh yeah, a lot better. Yeah, we are over here. That was my previous try. And that was with ABS. A lot better, but yeah, not as good as with ABS. Okay, we are done, but out of curiosity and just for fun, we're gonna do another brake test. This time, we'll use the engine and only at the very last moment, apply the brakes. Let's see how that goes. Okay, so how is this going to go? Uh, when we get to the first cone, where we apply the brakes, uh, this time I'm going to shift into second, release the clutch, slowly I suppose, then when we get to 20, 25-ish, I'm going to shift into first, and then around 5-ish, I'm going to apply the brakes. Rest in peace, transmission. Okay, let's go. We are at 50. Second now. Alright, I mean, this is, <laughs> well, from the cone where it's supposed to start breaking, it's, I don't know, 70, 80 meters, thereabouts. But I thought we're going to stop somewhere, I don't know, over there. This is not bad. Cool. Okay, that concludes this video. It was fun, a bit scary at times, but still fun. Uh, I don't remember the exact numbers, but I put them up somewhere on the screen here. I think in terms of acceleration, it was accelerating with traction control on. And in terms of braking, it was best with the ABS. 
Before making this video, I thought that uh, applying the brakes just before the ABS kicks in would be better. And I thought accelerating without traction control would be better. But I got proved wrong. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up and subscribe, and I will be seeing you next time. Bye-bye.